Hi. Indigo Energy is a company that's always been focused on decentralized energy. Uh, first, our, our, our focus was in Myanmar only, and to that end, we, we did a, a number of projects uh, in what we call Indigo Energy 1.0 phase, which was uh, from uh, 2012 to around 2015. Uh, and there we learned about how uh, having decentralized uh, energy solutions is, is something to increase uh, resilience of a, a community as well as to improve energy security, uh, as we've seen with the, the recent political situation in, in, in Europe and the, the instability around energy then decentralized solutions are just becoming more and more uh, relevant to, to everyone's lives. Following Indigo Energy 1.0's demise in 2015, we were able to restart the company in 2017 focused on CNI rooftop solar. We called it Indigo Energy 2.0. During that time, we built a number of projects and learned from a very hands-on perspective how to do solar projects. Following the military coup in Myanmar, we shifted our perspective from uh, only solar in the, in the local Myanmar market to doing international projects uh, for developers uh, first in the region and, and now uh, globally as we have our, our first clients in, in the U.S. Indigo becomes mature and more innovative to the unity of team. With our engineers' head work and willingness to maintain the quality, Indigo can survive this challenging time, uh, which is COVID-19 and military coup, which is happening in Myanmar. In order to provide this high-quality engineering and uh, at the same time give opportunities to disadvantaged young engineers in, in Myanmar, we created the Project Engineer Associate Program. This program rotates young engineers through all aspects of the solar engineering process. The thing that makes Indigo Energy different from our competitors is that we are engineers who happen to do some consulting rather than some consultants who happen to do some engineering.